Yeah, man, you already know what time it is. It's the summer edition. Tales from the crib. I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna need you to hit that like button. Man, we jumping out the, like Mario. What's our plan? Fresh in the water. Exactly. Smelling like daisies. Exactly. Ready for another podcast. Ready for another episode. Oh, is that is that is that your pose for the pig? I don't know, but I was looking real flacco in it, so I had to do it. Oh, calling out the flacco. Exactly, and we know where you at. You better come on the episode. We ain't playing. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna be real nice this episode, even though Even though this episode's not nice itself. You know why? This is a word, not from 63rd edition. Exactly. I gotta turn on the music. You're gonna throw I was getting out a too hip. jiggy with it, man. Stop playing, man. I, I told you, man. I did my Pilates today. I ate my bean and rice. I ate my rice and cabbage. I'm feeling real Batman Kevin wish today. Nobody asked for that. But you know what they did ask for? What they asked for? Another episode. Why do you ask for that? I don't know. Why do you ask for the sun to shine? Why do you ask for money? Why? No one please? has the answers. But you, know, but you need to like, comment, and subscribe. Exactly. And follow us at Twitter at Papa Oblock at Felix Supreme 305. Exactly, man. Follow my swag. Follow my drip, man. See me, Felix Supreme 305. And you see, you see the Adidas hat? Because we make it happen. No, we support Nike over here. You know, we got a Kanye we'll fan, and you can't trust a Kanye fan. And that even goes for you, Seth. <laughs> um, but we're going to jump into this episode. We got tftc music mix number three finally getting some views exactly man thank y'all for supporting you know i told y'all man when i started sprinkling my little salt bay magic on that playlist it was finna pop and it popped everyone liked my picks way Whatever, more man you just you be hating well, and i looked you already popped your top what's up with that you know i mean i lost it at 12 what can i say <laughs> and now we're talking about our official sponsor not sponsor twisted tea. hold on i ain't been drinking since 12 years old <laughs> you said it not me what calm, calm down see man you play you playing games well you i threw you off with popping your top listen yeah calm down i've never popped any tops i know how to change a battery and i know how to change a spare tire you know Get how to right, change it um no but check us out on instagram tales from the crib 210 there's our qr code please go ahead and change the subject before my co-host gets himself in any more trouble i don't want to be like 16 shot him no 16 shot him he's a bad bad boy apparently he's a mr but guess what check the internet we on the couch and there's no monkeys on this episode so he's safe he's referencing nope and we will have a review up of nope on crib reactions so check that out we did a reaction to the trailer. We went and saw the movie with uh, our boy Seth. Our boy Seth. Shout out goat. Seth. What's his, what's, his, uh, what's his Instagram name? Uh, oh, man. It's somewhere. No, stop it's the me. real Dottie. Oh, yeah. The real. Of course. Yeah. We're going with that. But check him out. He's in one of our other episodes. We have his Instagram linked on that episode. Mm -hmm. So check it out. But I'm actually disappointed in our viewers in this podcast because wah, Crib Reactions wah, is wah. blowing up. It, I actually what? just checked it. It has over 140 subscribers. I think like 143. I just checked it a minute ago. And uh, Tales from the Crib is currently sitting at 133 subscribers, which is uh, I bet if, backwards. I bet if this channel had as many episodes as the Reaction channel, they would love it. We'd have just as many subscribers. But this is long for format punk. They want to see our face. The, the fans have been asking. They've been saying, where's the real podcast? When are we going to do the mukbang? They want to see us bakaki bak it up. I don't know what about X-rated stuff you're talking about, but I will not be involved. We will have a step in for that episode. But um, TFTC Clips, check it out. If the podcast is too long, check out the highlights on TFTC Clips. It'll be linked in the channel and in the description below. But look at our videos blowing up. We got uh, Sierra got 3,000 video uh, views excuse me, in nine days. And uh, the Nope Reaction trailer got 1.2 views in uh, 11 days, 1.2K. Please, please, please support. And please support B.A.B., the Pac-Man. Why does he get no love? Because... Fat guys don't matter. 
I wasn't gonna comment. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not gonna join him in getting canceled for that. Listen, because everybody matters. You matter. He matters. She matters. They we them matter. matter. And they matter. They and them. Don't forget the pronouns. That's why I pointed to you. So now everyone knows what to call you. The disrespect. I thought we was friends. We're gonna start calling you. I think you just should go by them. Purely them. But um, everyone loves Kodak. Everyone loves Sierra. And then there were some haters saying that Sierra was too old to twerk. Sierra's never too old to twerk. We love Sierra. We will watch Circle. it every time. Oh, and also, we forgot. We dropped a new video today. The Costa, the Costa Country. <laughs> Coast, Coast Contra. <laughs> Coast Contra. We dropped the Coast Contra reaction video. It's blowing up. I'm going to need you to watch it. I'm going to check the views. Don't uh, check the views. I'm checking. Don't check it. <laughs> They don't they just, just, just just know it's fire. It's it's we it's got fuego. we got fifty six views in seven hours. So exactly, it's growing man. pretty good. I love it. See, I love the way I support us. Crib reactions. They were begging us to do a Coast Contra uh, reaction, even though we had no idea who they are and don't listen to any music like them. I do. But I like the fans it. have spoken. I have a real plethora of music. I have a. Of a, a but this man listens to drill and trap and nothing else. <laughs> Listen, I listen and to Kurt maybe, Franklin. Maybe a little Ursher, baby. I listen to Kurt Franklin every Sunday. Smile, baby, smile. No, you listen. That was scary. Uh, you listen. <laughs> you uh, Who do you listen to? No, you Chris listen Brown? To, you listen to Eminem. Eminem was fire. I was listening. Actually, no, no, no. I was listening to Eminem no, yesterday. No, but you were listening to My Bum Is On Your Lips. We can go with that song. That was more, P- it was more PG than the song I was listening to. But we're not gonna talk about that. But you Eminem know, would have been banned if he would have made music this era. He wouldn't have made it. Are you ready to start the show? Are I've you ready, ready to dive into the topics, as they would say? I've been ready to pull in the whole time. I've been ready to whip it out. <laughs> we're talking about diving in topics. We're not talking about pulling anything out. You need to put it away. I'm been, I'm, put I'm, it away. Listen, this I'm, is not I've that I've been type ready of since show. Sunday. I've been ready since Sunday, Papa. Don't don't call me on Twitter now. You got to say the whole name. You can't just say the Papa part. That's disturbing. But speaking of calling another man Papa, we got Chris Brown going viral for his thousand dollar meet and greet photos, and it looks like he had tons of female fans as expected, and one guy that wanted the super cool bro pick. Now, I mean, I thought you was going crazy when we went to go see Chief Keith and do the meet and greet. We ain't gonna talk about that story. Yo. We gonna save that for another. We've day. already said that story, I believe. They don't have to catch it again. They got new, we we got to watch fans. our past episodes. They got banned. A lot of them got shadow banned. But, but yeah, um, like I was saying, like I thought the Chief Keith pan, Chief Keith prices was crazy, but I one band to take a picture with Chris Breezy? No. That's I, not enough. I support Chief Keith. As you can see, I got my Glow Gang Worldwide Atlanta Braves Glow Man hat on. Let's go. Let's you go. Know, you got to support. Check the drip. Check the drip. You got to support the boys. Exactly, man. We we would have had the glow man with us today, but you know, and one day. Oh yeah, yeah. Put in the comments. Do you want me to bring back the glow man, or the Fredo Sant- Fredo Santana glow man vinyl? Mm-hmm. Sometimes they join us here. It's a little friend. Adds a little spice to the show. What if we brought both of them at the same time? I don't know if they can. can they handle that? that? They might start a fight. They might start a fight. But um, just like over here, I think we'd have to fight oh, over look, this. I think they sound. Is that is that your pose in the middle? You the know, ultimate ultimate bro pick. No, I want to be held like it was, it was like our wedding day, and I want to be laying down. Who's like wedding day? Me and Chris Breezy. Oh my God! I want to be like this. You want to hold me like this? Hold no, me. you want to be held like Scooby Doo, like and a jump, baby. And jump in Shaggy's arm. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> no, nah, but honestly, um, like, see the dude that paid a thousand dollars. I could have took that picture anyway. I could have met him at the airport, took a picture. Hey, let me take a picture. He probably would have done it. He would have done it for the frizzy. You he paid. wanted a for sure thing. He didn't want a chance to. No, I really think he wanted the picture like the girl in the middle, but he like he wanted to serve his manhood. He he didn't want to let people know. <laughs> but I, I respect you, Black King. I respect you. But yeah, back to our news. Um, no, but I think a thousand is way too much. I think it's cool if you could do it for like anywhere from like I don't know, like eighty, even one fifty, I think is pushing it if you're paying that much I to thought... meet someone. But um a thousand, I mean that's crazy. I mean, who does he think he is? I thought it was cancelled. I don't know, that's what I said. We did a <laughs> reaction video and I was like, Oh, isn't this the guy that everyone hates because he, he beat up America's who? sweetheart? Uh, Rihanna, but everyone's like, you're not even allowed to talk about it anymore. This old, 
you don't know what you're talking about. We love Chris Brown unconditionally. And I was like, well, excuse me. It's like, it's like he's, he's messed up if you will. He's messed up if you don't. When Gavin tries to be nice. When I try to gets, be politically correct, it gets thrown in my face. So this is why I don't even try anymore. I'm done trying, trying to be correct. <laughs> I tried taking the high road and I'm still wrong. I just, I can't deal with it. And then you see, you have me on the side. I just be saying like random stuff. And he'd be like, this, this man, the man, the white man on the other side, he's just horrible. And like, all he said was the sky was blue. I thought the sky was blue. Oh, and then I'll be like, I'll say at the beginning of the video, like, oh, this is an artist I've never listened to before. And I'll say some comments and like, how did you not know his whole life story? And I'll be like, I literally said this is my first time ever listening to and it. And then I agree. But check, check out all this fun on Crib Reactions. And I agree with him too. Like, I don't know anything either. And then he'll still slander you. But you know what else doesn't make sense? What? Besides the Crib Reaction slander? These mutant aliens over here kicking Ukraine's butt. What well, bam? Looks like Russia says it's losing because Ukraine has experimental mutant troops created in a secret laboratory. <laughs> okay, bad, Dexter. Isn't it a, it's a laboratory? <laughs> it's a bathroom, right? <laughs> Let's see. I've made a lot of mutants in a laboratory. Don't worry about that. A lot of solo meetings. <laughs> um, oh, but, comes, call me in the office. Oh, yeah. I was dropping logs and when I was taking... Uh, you know, a business call. Sometimes you got to take business calls at anywhere you can. There's there's no so, times that so, are wrong. So every time Especially I, if it's a co-host. Co-host can answer So every time I call you now, it's a business call? Pretty much? Yep. Yeah, I like we, that. We're always doing business. But speaking of giving the business, we got Wolverine giving Cyclops the business right here. Just like the uh, Russians are getting the business. Just like the co-host, that's the main from host. From the Ukrainians. I'm the main host. I know. That's what I'm... I'm I'm the main host. No, you're the main host, which is Cyclops. I'm the No, 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 no. I'm Wolverine. You're definitely Cyclops. Mm -hmm. You would play by the rules, and you we already know you can't see, so you would be the ones with the super glasses. It's 2022. I can count on five, two fingers, two hands, how many times you cried this year. You cried way more times than me. This is lies. We're not going to talk about how you got scared of Nope. I this thought you were being abducted. Let's see it. It was almost as bad as the time. That hole was deep. We'll get into that more in the reaction video. But back but to these aliens. No, so, do you think this is just propaganda to no. explain why they're losing? Or do you think that well, there's real life Avengers and we sent them to help you Ukrainians? I'm, I realize that you at the Americans are doing whatever it takes to make sure. <laughs> like you're not American? No, listen here. It's, I'm talking about Joe Biden. Joe Biden is doing everything he does in his power to make sure he doesn't give Jesse another set of, another uh, stimulus check. So he's giving all Ukraine everything they got. They, said I mean, they should have super tro uh, soldiers for the amount of money they received. They've gotten like how many billion? Exactly. I mean, like, I'll take a cool five mil. You'll never hear from me again. It's crazy. It's like you. Yeah, you know what I need? I need the skittles. That's what they're missing. The skittles from the last episode. Maybe that's what triggered them. The D the skittles that change your DNA. Hey. And, the, and then the claws came out. It's the reason why they got rid of all the real the original Coca Cola in all the U.S. but Texas. Exactly. Oh, you want the old school Coca Cola? We want the old school Coca Cola. We trying to get all hyped up on Mountain Dew over here. But shout out to the Ukrainian for beating Russians, but and I'm just uh, ready for this war to be over with, honestly. Like Yeah, it's ruining it for everything. Like, I mean gas prices is going up. I gotta drive all the way to the east side to get the gas for the three fifty. Like, you know how I mean bullets you gotta duck and dodge. It's everywhere. It's like hide and go seek over there. It's like that new movie that's gonna come out, catch a body. See a body, say a body. Oh my god, that is such a weird movie. That didn't even make sense in the previews. But uh, we're going to have a bunch of new movie previews coming out on Crib Reactions. But let's go ahead and move along from the Russians getting their butt kicked and having crappy excuses that we got. You can't even be safe at church. I mean, exactly. Let's see here. The Reverend out here taking on real robbers and y'all over here crying. Let's, uh, let's get you, out of the way. When you're not safe on Sunday, where can you go? Can't even. We'll see. Chick fil A is closed on Sunday. That's how you know it's not right. Exactly. But uh, got everybody going to Chipotle, giving everybody the bubble guts. <laughs> Bishop Whitehead speaks out after armed men rob him and his wife during church live stream. Yo, yo, all right, yo, yo. all right, all right, all right, all right, all 
right. Man, he hit the ground quick. You already know what's up. You think this was stage? No. It was back door. He looks scared. Hey, man, it's back door, man. They hit different. Yep. I'm going to hit you different. But, um. <laughs> Pause. Pause. I'm going to hit you, and then you're going to be different. You're going to be. Gonna be riding the short bus to school, but I don't think this was staged at all. I think he really got robbed, and everyone needs protection nowadays. Everyone needs bodyguards. I know, and the funny, I'm mean, not the funny part. I'm sorry, sorry, Lord. Yeah, you just said that it was okay to hit up a bishop. No, no, no. But honestly, they said he actually has back. He's actually mad at two other bishops because they were caught laughing at him because he got robbed. But I mean, that you would be the other bishop. Who would rob somebody on a Sunday, broad daylight, at a on trip? a camera, on a live stream? And the thing about it, like when you rob somebody, you want to get the most money as possible. So that means you, it will have to be a lot of people there. It don't seem like a lot of people was here, so you probably didn't get that much money. But it looks like the uh, bishop was uh, had a bunch of nice uh, stuff on. Apparently, oh, got really? away with a decent amount. Yeah, that bling bling on. Yeah. See, this is what happens when y'all be dressing all fancy and fly at church. I get robbed. That's why I don't go to church. I don't want to hey, get robbed. So wait, pause, time out. So if it happened at church, was it supposed to happen? No. Was it was it his karma? Who, the people that go to church is karma? Bishops. Yeah, because they're probably stealing money. This is why you don't They're it, probably being like Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? Tell us from the crib, we don't push religion on anybody, but you know what I mean? We, we push non religion on hey. people. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Listen here, calm down, Ben Affleck. Over here, Why am I Ben talk, Affleck? Talk about science and all this other stuff, Mr. I Will. believe in science. <laughs> <laughs> you never, you never watch with the radio, Cuban Gunner Junior. <laughs> no, you, you definitely look like a stuntman for radio. Um, but I was actually talking about a different movie. I was talking about that movie with uh, Jack Black. Nacho Libre. Nacho Libre. Fire. Was I right? I don't know what you said, but the movie is Nacho Libre. <laughs> you said Nucho. I don't. I don't know what a Nucho is. This is what I go through every day with this guy, man. Every day he always says, "Yes, you said it wrong," and then he turns around and says the same thing I just said, but correctly. That's the difference. But um, let's go ahead and move on because guess what? We got movie announcements. Oh yeah, I mean we talk about movies all epi- all day today. We got Marvel Phase 5, and it looks like you got a bunch of TV shows and movies. It looks like you got Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, wait, 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 wait. Quantumania. Wait, where are you starting from? Where are you starting from? From the far left. So is that a TV show or a movie? That's a movie, I believe. You know, I, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that it's a movie. I really don't care about the Ant-Man unless they give T.I. his role back. If they give T.I. his role back, I'm watching Ant-Man. But no, like- I don't care about Ant-Man. Uh, you got Secret Invasion, and I think that's based on a good comic. Uh so maybe check that out. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Fire. Definitely down for that. Definitely down for that one. I'm not sure what Echo's about. If you know, put it in the comments below. Which one's Echo? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know, know what Echo's is about. Uh, Loki Season 2. I, have, I don't watch. I don't really care for the Loki. That was on Disney Plus. It was a show. I, lo- I really like Loki Season 1 and want to see where Season 2 goes. They have this Marvels. I don't know what that is. I, I do want to see the new Blade. Oh wait, wait 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 the blade of the movie or is it gonna be, I hope it's not animated. It's, a mo- it's a movie. I hope it's not animated. I really no, they already got the actor. It's um put in the comments if you if you know his name below, but uh he's a famous actor. Iron Heart? What is Iron Heart? Is that I, Iron Man rebuilt? It's something like that. I forget. Some wait, of the wait, stuff wait, wait. like I'm not I'm not a I'm not a Marvel head. Like what I was they, super into Iron Man. Don't they have the Rock is coming out with a superhero movie? That's Black Adam. Is That's it? a DC movie. Oh, it's not Marvel. Uh, Agatha Coven of Chaos is a spinoff of the um, WandaVision, and uh, so that looks like that'll be cool. Daredevil wasn't really a Daredevil fan and didn't care about a blind superhero. It's you know call that the 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 Joe Biden was that superhero. his superpower? Like he was blind. His superpower was being blind. Yeah, but he could sense stuff. He got like splashed with like this this acid that blinded him, but all his other senses uh, improved, and he basically had like Spidey sense, like Spider Man. So basically, he's Batman without the money. 
Uh, he's a lawyer, so he has money. But I don't know if he has Batman money. Exactly. And Batman doesn't have any real superpowers. Uh, we got Captain America, New World Order. But I think that's with the, the new... The new it's, Am- it's the new Captain America, the one with wings. What? Because remember Captain America, he got all he decided to go back to his original timeline. And then he let his friend become the new Captain America. I wonder who's going to be playing Captain America this, ep- this time around. And then Thunderbolts. And I would rather see Thundercats. I don't even know what Thunderbolt it is. We'll find out later. Is it the dog so, movie? Was it- yes. We're just going to say yes, even if it's wrong. Fire. Comment below if you know what that is. Also, Phase six. This is way out. We got... 2024? 25? Yeah, it looks like we got Fantastic Four. In 2024, uh, Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, and then Avengers Secret Wars. So is Avengers like their main source of Marvel money right now? Like is it is some well, Avengers Well, everyone series? has like a spinoff show. Oh, let me put this on screen. It could be on screen now. Um, every, like it looks like uh, Marvel has a whole bunch of shows. Avengers is like when all of them are together. And then each show and movie is like more based on the character that it's uh, titled with. Hey man, comment below which one is your favorite Marvel movie that's past or that's coming out in the yeah, future. Yeah, but which one's your favorite? Do you prefer the Avengers movies with all of them, or do you prefer like the Thor movies, the Iron Man movies, the Captain America movies? Which one is your favorite set of movies? And Put who, it in the comments below. And who's your favorite Marvel superhero? Who's your favorite Marvel superhero? Iron Man. R- Robert Downey. Really? Out of all the ones, Robert- he's the coolest. He's the OG. He started it all. That's trash. He started uh, the Marvel franchise. He was the first superhero movie they made. That would be the Human Torch. He was always on fire. You know what's crazy? You know who the Human Torch uh, turned out to be? Who? Captain America. <laughs> he. <laughs> it's the same guy. That's the one who. Oh gosh, horrible. But they that that movie doesn't count anymore. That movie doesn't count as a part of these movies. They're gonna make a new Fantastic Four, and that's technically gonna be the first one. And they even tried to make a new Fantastic Four a handful of years ago, mm-hmm. but that movie flops so bad that they're not counting it. Wow. But uh, that's our uh, deep dive from the uh, San Diego Comic Con reveals of Marvel's new movies. Um. But oh, it looks God. like here. Speaking of nemesis, the topic of the day. Speaking of evil, man. I've been waiting for this. Our blood's been boiling. Looks like our guy Charleston Whites has finally caught somebody like He had an alterga- altercation moments ago. Soldier Boy and ten others allegedly approached him on Collins Avenue, saying he just wanted to talk. And Charleston White started spraying mace in the face. Yeah, hit him with the mace. That's that sound. It sounds exactly. like that sounds like what girls carry on their keychains. Don't we have a video for this? We do have a video of this. It's like the last one. So we have a video of Charleston White basically making a mockery of the situation. Uh, but I just want to get your initial thoughts before we move on to that. I agree with Charleston White. He's hilarious. Everything he says, I support it. Y'all need to get in y'all place. You know what I support? What someone putting their foot up Charleston's. See, I mean, hey, I mean, I like him because <laughs> I like him because he caught Soldier Boy lacking and he's hilarious and he's, he didn't he's even a genius. Do, he didn't even fight him or nothing. He sprayed him with mace. And guess what? He super soaked that hoe. You can't, you are lucky that we are this far in, but I don't even know if that'll fly. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just saying, look at this. Look how creative he is. Charleston White is releasing a shirt. Mason Charleston Soldier Boy. Watch? White. Charleston White is releasing a shirt. Mason Soldier Boy super soaked that. Oh. oh. Look at that. Charleston. And he got a video. Ben, play the video. Let him see it. I, he hit that button right there. You see that? I hit that button right there where it can be in you. God damn it, Soldier Boy, the first one to come. So. He's standing there. He ain't arm reaper. He can bow. His arm wasn't that long. I didn't let him swing. Uh-uh. He said, I want to talk. <laughs> now, I could have been overreacting. Now, I'm sorry, soldier. I wasn't planning on kicking my ass. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, uh, Still uh, weak. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, my, my, my granddad always told me it is, it is much easier to say I'm sorry 
didn't ask for forgiveness. Yeah, yeah, so I just want to say I'm sorry if I missed you and I was I, I was overreacting. Yeah, yeah, but if, this is all I can think. It's 12 niggas walking toward me. Not one nigga said, hey, nigga. Didn't nobody say hi. Didn't nobody say, hey, that's Charleston. Wasn't nobody. <laughs> hey, that's Charles. Exactly. I agree with Charleston. You wasn't looking friendly, so you got what you got. Now he's going to get what he gets because I already saw. Uh, we didn't get a chance to add it to the show, but I already saw that uh, one of Soldier Boy's artists said that he's going to catch him. Is it Arab? Is no, it Jabarbar? Not the old guys from back <laughs> in the day that we would know, but one of his new rappers. Oh, Lord. It's Skinny from the Nine. Yeah. No. That'd skinny be crazy. from the Nine. Imagine Skinny up. from the Nine fights Charleston White. That'd be hilarious. But. <laughs> I mean, like, how do you feel about him always dissing Chirac? He's dissing Chirac. He's dissing Nipsey Ooh, Hussle. I, I don't know. How do you feel about him dissing Stack? Stacks. St Stack Stephen Jackson. Stephen Jackson. Stephen Jackson. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't diss someone that's six five, six seven, but that's just me. But if Stephen Jackson catch him, he better hope he has the mace on him or Stephen Jackson's going to super soak that. Cause exactly, because I mean, you know, he's like because he, also like Charles. Do you think he Charles is really about that? Or you think he no, like, he's just... making. I saw that yeah. shortly. I think like the next day that uh -huh. some uh, Pyro Blood uh, actually caught him and ran up on him, and I think he was uh, his mace canister was empty because he started hiding behind all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't want to show that video. Though. That's my hey, hey, TFTC needs to come out with their own mace. Get a little mace bottle with a little logo on it. We're gonna get it you. Fire. Taser. Your own custom mace, taser, and whistle. So you can get all the help you need. Listen, so can, you I, can have your manhood protected. Listen here. I go to the gym three times a week. I was born already. I'm like Rambo. I go, I rip out the shirt right now. You said you're like the rainbow? <laughs> Dang, dog. It's all right. You ahead, man. Go to the next We'll topic. get you right one day. I'm a rainbow now. What am I now? You, uh, I'm a little wop. You got me little wop. No. You lucky charms. <laughs> yeah, you, you basically are Lil Wapa. You call me, who told you my dancing name? I'm ch I'm changing this. I don't even and we're not getting You're to anything better. better. But NASA better. is asking astronauts to not um debate. I'll just say that in space because I don't know if I could say it because floating bits of semen can impregnate up to three females because they swim in space. Wow. And since it's, you know how like liquids stay together, you know how they like let out a drop of liquid and it uh -huh. stays together. So like the uh, semen will stay in the liquid and it'll like float around. So, you know, it's funny though. <laughs> and the liquid will keep it alive. The whole time I was thinking like, I thought they weren't even allowed to take off the space suit when they were in space, but clearly I'm wrong. Yeah, they, I mean, some of them have been up there for like six months, eight months, a year. They're going to take off the suit. What if they got to go number two? And like, so, <laughs> what? If, why they can't just shoot a load in the cup? That should solve all the problems. The thing is, what, that's what I always wonder. Is like, supposedly they go at number two, and I've seen like the toilet from like uh, the uh, spaceship tours. And it's... um. It's like a, a little hole. Like it's like a little hole, uh -huh. and you like go into it, and it's like a vacuum. Oh, and it's like shoots into space. Uh, I mean, yeah, I think it shoots probably into somewhere and then into space. That is but, disgusting. Um, so this is poop everywhere in space. So space is full of poop. No poop in space rocks. Space is like immensely big. So no, it might be might, might be some particles out there. Though. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'd rather be in a spaceship dodging semen than dodging no. poop. <laughs> But they said supposedly sometimes it doesn't all go in, and they gotta like catch it and then throw it in the in the thing. So I wonder, like a like an Odell Beckham. Could you imagine if you were like, because you know how they like push themselves through the tunnel and they float? If you're just like floating, and then it's just like, uh, it reminds me of that that, uh, that Dave Chappelle episode uh, when he's in the. Uh, you saw the Dave Chappelle episode when he's like on the toilet and like he poops and like he just oh he explodes, <laughs> flies out like a rocket. Yeah, I was talking about this, uh, one of his other uh, skits. Oh, Lord. But, I mean, how many... Okay, wait, wait. Time out. Pause. But what if you went directly into the suction, but you're only supposed to poop on the suction, and you get stuck in the suction? 
That's disgusting. You It'd be like Soul Plane. Plane. You win a million dollars, you get a, pl- a purple plane with on twenty on fifty fives, and you get Snoop Dogg. Anytime you get Snoop Dogg, it's a win. Everybody knows that. He's unk. Oh, speaking of Snoop Dogg, he has a new movie. It's a horror movie coming out. And we're going to do it on Crib Reactions. So check out Crib Reactions below. What, what because that video will be coming out probably in the next day. So this is like promote our, support our reaction page all through this episode? Is that what you're doing? Support all of TFTC networks. We're basically, we got a TV station now. So listen here, man. The reaction channel is supposed to be my channel. Gavin's supposed to have his own channel. But now that this reaction channel... Wait, wait, hold on. They're all my channels. These are all my children's. This is a white man from Pocahontas. It does not going down like that. This is my land. Oh, we're taking your land. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> oh my God, I'm kidding. Stop crying. This is my cupcake. You can't have my cupcake. They gave it to me. Wait, you had Kevin Durant at your house? <laughs> Next topic. But uh, that does it for space. The moral of the story is don't crank ink in space. Cause it could be bad for everybody. And I'm still wondering, like, how, like, how's it getting through the clothes? It so swims. Like, it just... swims into your eye, and then it goes through the liquids of your eye, and then it goes all the way down, and then it connects. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. But that's wild. I don't know. That is I guess wild. you have to get naked in space to take a shower. Maybe it finds its way. That's Do they shower in space? I bet they just get a little soapy water and rub themselves down. I mean, what's the point? You're in a space suit. Who's going to smell you? You're not in a suit. See, you see the picture? You're in regular clothes when you're in the space station. You know, I'm surprised they didn't get any. Uh, I'm surprised we don't have any news saying space uh, astronauts. Please stop bathing in our suits. We're tired of cleaning our suits. This doesn't this doesn't cl- cl- clear our laundry. What's crazy is when you go on spacewalks and you have to wear a diaper on a spacewalk. Because if you have to pee or poop while you're spacewalking... You're not going to come back in to go to the restroom and then come back out because that's a long process to get you out there and to get you back. So you're just going to go and then you're going to sit in it. <laughs> that's freaking wild. I'm glad I work at a call center. But speaking of Wilder, it says, do y'all agree? Boosie compares smoking the ganja around his kids and other parents spraying hairspray around theirs. I agree with Boosie. Anything Boosie says... I agree with. It. Let's and see what he, he said says. He was on all of that. Let's see what he says. Get my dog out. I ain't do shit. Yeah, I smoke around my kids. Mm-hmm. You spray hair spray around your. You, you spray like your kids with hair spray. Black and black and black and mild. Yes, I went got high on them. I was full of pills. Let me tell you what else. I ain't no shit. I was full of weed, pills, angel dust, all Ooh. that. Tootie came from the hospital. I had a blunt like girl. Mm. He was right there. Right there. Yes, I did. Yeah, that's up. <laughs> I hear what people try to tell you what's going on. Why, Boosie? Boosie jamming in the car. They're not in jail. Your son in jail. <laughs> Your son in jail. <laughs> Your son in jail. <laughs> Speak about it. Don't tell me about my fucking turn. I'm mm. telling you. Lil Tootie. You won't leave, baby. Go ahead. Hey, we better watch it. You might get good to see. Oh, you gonna stop it? You gonna stop it? Listen here, Gavin. I, uh, I'll go back. Listen here, man. No, it don't matter. We'll... You want to talk about Boozy? That was funny enough. We'll leave it like that. Hey, but no, but more... basically, no. We're we're talking about it for a minute, and you can see this is a sneak preview of what we're gonna talk about in like a minute. But Boozy said that it's okay to smoke that Doja. Next to your children, do you agree? Yes or no? I mean, I've seen people do worse. That I mean, Doja I've, Doe. I've seen people smoke cigarettes. Or, I mean, listen here. Yeah, I've seen they, that. They, but that they, was in the nineties. No, but listen, exactly. Like they I mean, just, and you know that you were around from the nineties because you just, were around in the eighties. I was around a lot of nicotine. That's why I'm all hyper. Like eighty. You just glitched in real life. What was that? That wasn't even right. That was the nicotine here. Exactly. But um, no, you gotta you gotta protect your kids. You're gonna right. do that. Put them in the closet for a minute. This year, I mean, let's be real. I'm just kidding. These, these parents out here doing worse. They keeping their kids melatonin. They they spraying they spraying hairspray around their kids. What are they giving the kids? Melatonin. Exactly. Are we gonna talk about it. Are we gonna talk about it. 
we can get real disrespectful. Mayonnaise and banana pudding. Oh my god, you're going too far. I was just <laughs> waiting. That's strike two for you today. What? what strike, strike three. One? I got two. We got two people in the live studio audience. You put one to sleep. Ma, I have to pull the other one to fill in for you. Man, speaking of filling in, looks like it's a new app that's coming out called Swingy. I forgot, called Splingy. A new app that will let people what? rent your backyard swimming pool by Swing the hour. Swingy? The app, yeah, it's called Swingy. I forgot that. It's like S W I N G L Y. Mm. So, will let you rent backyard swimming pools by the hour is absolutely booming. Like A B business is booming. Hey, did you see we're rolling that on Rolling Loud? We got uh, everyone watch it. was in the A B. It was amazing. His and he had the uh, was that a neon orange <laughs> overall jumpsuit. Horrible. I know he was hot as hell. But, but I mean, I give it to. I, listen, here, I give it to. You said A B was hot as hell. Oh my god. Pause. Pause. I forgot who I was with. You said it. The LGBT patrols over here. I ain't the Paw Patrol. You're the Paw Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> you the Paw Patrol. <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, Papa Old Black, AKA Paw Patrol. Anyways, <laughs> let's jump into the story. I mean, honestly, like, I, I think it's a good way to make money, but I don't know if your neighbors would like it. Because what if you're having, like, a pool party at your house every day with strangers, but but they're paying you? I mean, what's on my yard is my yard. They need to mind their business again. And if they don't want to get in it, it's their fault. But, I mean, I give it to Americans always finding a way to sell everything. One day, maybe you can, it's going to be out to rent, rent your kitchen out. Let me rent my bathroom out. Rent the kitchen? Rent the kitchen. Oh, that's it. Copyright that. TFTC came for us. Rent a kitchen. You can rent my kitchen for an hour, two hours. No, if they're coming in the kitchen, they're cooking for everybody. Nah, I don't it's the rules. It's some people that are making some food that I don't want no parts of, and especially if you ain't using no seed, if you don't use no salt and pepper on your food, you can't come in my house. <laughs> Get out. But this is an interesting way to make money. Hopefully, people don't get in trouble with their neighborhoods because uh, some neighborhoods have a, what is that called? A neighborhood association. And I know oh. that they can be jerks about that stuff. Hey, imagine if Airbnbs, like imagine like you rent an Airbnb and if other family comes like two hours later and they just come, only come use the pool and you find out they they rented the pool for this, at the same time. No, they, they wouldn't do that. That is. Because people someone, would ask for a refund. I would be mad. See, this is why you see. But this, do you know even some neighborhoods uh, don't allow Airbnb? They'll tell all the residents that there's yeah, no I mean, Airbnb in this neighborhood because they don't want uh, people, all kinds of different people coming in, especially if it's gated. That's seen what happened to Pop Smoke. I wouldn't want to be. Need to go. It was so, so sad. Pop got smoke. Smoke got pop. But um, no, I'm just that's wrong. <laughs> But speaking of what else is wrong. Probably getting smoked. Looks like you can smoke a whole foot long Subway sandwich if you just do one thing. You said that you like to smoke foot long hoagies? Let's see, man. I need old. Oh, what do you up. like, the Coneheads? The Philly cheesesteak sub. Six in, the foot long every day for the rest of my life. I'd be in heaven. I, would, I don't trust Subway anymore. I haven't eaten there in years, especially since we did the cover stories where... You don't even eat tuna. Their tuna. You don't eat tuna. had no animal DNA in it. You don't even eat tuna. And their lunch meat had the wrong animal DNA in it. And that they, uh, their bread was so had so much sugar in it, it had to be classified as a pastry. <laughs> yeah, now, that part was crazy. The fact that I could I could have basically ate a honey bun sandwich. It could have been the same amount of calories I gained from eating Subway. It means that Jared's thought, a liar. Well, how did Jared? Yeah, how did Jared do it? This is he's why, eating all the sugar bread. This is why he's in jail. Because it rides his brain. He's doing nothing. Too much sugar bread to the brain. So, but honestly, think about it. If one fast food place said, if you got a tattoo of them on your body, and only you get place food I would do it is, is Ar Arby's. And I support that. You get the roast beef sandwich the and the mozzarella beef. sticks. For life. For life. I'd be at Arby's. I would already go to Arby's every day. As a matter of fact, we're going to go to Arby's I, after I would, this episode. I would get the uh, Arby's hat right here in the sleeve. And I'd be like, give me my sandwiches. Exactly. I'm a lifetime member. 
Exactly. I sold my soul. But that's enough about sandwiches. What yeah. else do we got in the chamber? Souls. We got them pulling them out of your chamber. Oh, we got man. post-mortem. Little swimmers retrieval procedure is turning dead men into fathers. Fajas. I mean, I really don't know how I... Luke, I am your Fasha. I really don't know how I feel about this. Like, how does this work? Do they have to make a choice? If I'm choking on a six-inch hoagie and I'm about to die, are you going to bait me off or are you going to give me mouth to mouth? Which who's going to make the choice? I want to know why you're eating a foot-long coney. I mean, I was inspired for the, I was inspired by the last lot. They don't call you the Glizzy Lord for no reason. I'm the Gizzy Goblo Champion. What? The Gizzy Goblo Champion. That's a tongue it's five tw- years running. That's a tongue twister and also disturbing. Um, but I think they have to do it pretty quick, and I don't think they have to choose. <laughs> do we give them CPR, or, or do we <laughs> we do we crank that yank? I'm pretty sure <laughs> they just whenever you're gone. That they drain your uh, Webos Vancheros. And, uh, but who did they put them in? Do I have a choice? You're dead. That's I don't no need choice. Kim Kardashian. I don't need none of these BBL. And, and, then, my kid and, at then, all. and then they're going to get money from the estate. Listen here. <laughs> if I found like Gorilla or any one of you ratchet girls had my baby, I'm haunting you for life. I already called dibs on Glorilla. You're you going to find in yourself another Rilla. You're disgusting, but nah, this is nasty. I mean, I give it to science and technology doing the unthinkable. I, I mean, like, how about bringing me back to life after I die? Y'all want to say, babies, bring me back. I want to. I want to be brought back to when You're I was twenty-two. You're not coming back. You have donor on your driver's license. You're going down. They're taking everything. <laughs> They're taking everything. <laughs> oh lord. They're taking your heart. Why didn't tell you that? Your kidneys, your liver. Hey man, they don't. You know when we talk about that, we might get banned by Joe Biden if we talk about that. We keep banned for a lot of things. I think we're okay on that one. But you know what isn't okay? A dog that is equipped with a submachine gun that's a robot that can murk you on sight. Exactly. Imagine you get resuscitated and they didn't they didn't waste all your semen and then you wake up, you walk outside, and that's a little chihuahua with an AK forty seven on his back. That's what do awesome. you do? Chihuahua's already blicking you down. You ain't got no chance. But what would you do if they thought you were dead, but you weren't really dead, and you wake up and they're draining you? They're trying to get all your seedlings. Catch my drift. That's Wouldn't that be a horror film? They'd be like Wolverine. That's all. What if they cut it open and drain it because you're dead, but you're not really dead? And you're like, what are you doing? What if I slap you back to the main topic and we at least kill our dogs? <laughs> I want um, sharks with lasers, dolphins with nunchucks, or robot dogs with submachine guns. It's all good. Or birds with laser eyes. Laser eyes, like like Like, like Cyclops. Cyclops. I knew, see, fire. I told you you were Cyclops. That's why I was Wolverine. Well, bam. <laughs> um, listen, Wolverine was trash. Wolverine. So, Wolverine's whole Never talked pop- down on Logan. Listen here. Wolverine's power is he regenerates. You All can't the, beat him. He's like Deadpool. He regenerates. That's it. You cut his He's head got off. claws. That's not his power. His power isn't claws. His power is regenerating. And and he can grow claws. No, the claws were put in. Which way? Which Wolverine are you talking about? The Alamani. We had the first off when he had, he had the bone claws before he that had was the steel fake. claws. That was, that didn't count. That what do you was, mean? That was the movie that they made that came out that, that like that like leaked and they didn't even count all the other ones. He had animanthium in him, and they, he had no. That one like counted. That. that was a prequel. A prequel to the sequel. I'm about to sequel you to the next episode. Keep playing. But, um, I hope. I mean, this sounds cool, but what if it's just like a random person and you have the dog set to instant kill? And just bop, 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 bop. I mean, this gives up uh, robbing people and lacking to a whole new level. Imagine if people, everybody on Shire Rock had a dog like yeah. this. What if you had to get your whole family, get a chip put on them? And anytime the dog focused the gun on you, it's like, nope, he's got the chip. Boom. It blows no, it wouldn't shoot you because you have the chip. It shoot anybody who don't have a chip. But I mean, I think, you know, I'm really starting to think that our audiences don't believe that this is real. I think we got some real video evidence of a oh, robot yeah. dog. Hopefully it's not too loud. 
I think I turned the volume down. Look at, look at this dog. What the heck? That's like a side fi Dang. You're definitely taking out the ops with this dog. Yes. Some real Modern Warfare 5 stuff. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, the single shot. This brings bullying to a whole new level. Golly. Stay down. <laughs> and it walks on dirt. dirt. This thing is crazy. This is definitely going to make the highlight clips. Watch out, you see a plane hit the dirt. That is crazy. So, I mean, between that and then they got these, um, what did they say? They said Obama sent over like a whole bunch of drones. They have drones, like all this technology. Ooh, you mean they, Biden? You still? They do all this technology they're using to like not even be there and just to clap you. It's amazing. It's going to be like full on video games. Like, I mean, like imagine. So, you get, they're going to send Terminators that are remote controlled. So, what would you rather have? You would, what would you rather have the switches or robot dog? Uh, two robot dogs. Robot dogs. You take two robot dogs over some switches? Yep. Because it'll give the robot dog switches. You can't do a music video with, with robot dogs? Yeah, you can. I'll dance in between two robot dogs. And I <laughs> said, come get me. <laughs> with, with two clocks on them? Yeah. I'm going to put a Desert Eagle on a robot dog. Put the 007 Golden Gun. Oh uh, man, before we move on to the next topic, we want to give a, a RIP to the monkey. Remember the monkey that had the guns that died a couple episodes ago in uh, New York and Mexico? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> the cartel monkey. RIP monkey. It had a vest on and everything, but it still got hit. See, I mean, we ain't like, see, tell us in the crib and like them other podcasts that just be talking. We remember all our facts. No, I just be talking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't remember anything that happened last week. Oh lord. Because most of the time these podcasts are fueled by twisted tea. So we don't we remember nothing. But I did remember that we did a couple of practice intros and my co host acted crazy and I got it on film for y'all. So maybe we'll do a reaction video to all my co host outtakes. I'm a deer. <laughs> Speaking but, of I'm a deer, looks like 50 children found working at a hybrid Hyundai supplier factory in well, Alabama. Hybrid. See, this is why I don't support Hyundai. But I mean, turns <laughs> out that some of the parents actually knew that their kids were actually skipping school. That's how that's how much working. That's how much uh, gas has gone up. You got to say, kids, you can't go to school. You got to go to work. Exactly. I mean, mama I, needs to get around. So I mean, like, so if you got a phone call that little Timmy was skipping school to go to work, would you be mad at him? I say, go get the bag, Timmy Turner. Exactly, Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. He be with reach, reach for a burner. Exactly. I but, think I'll sing the rest of the song. I was nah, waiting. They, they ain't ready for that. Usher I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to scare you them away like again? Jeremiah and Ray J. Who? Oh, that was a designer. Yeah, exactly. But Shout out designer, even though you don't make music. How was no this illegal? Like, how are you able to hire children to work at a plant? It's illegal, obviously. I thought you had to be like a certain age. You do. This is illegal operations. That's crazy. And then, like, I wish, like, how come I wasn't this lucky as a kid? Why nobody abducted me to get some early easy chicken? I want a chicken when I was seven years old. I would have worked for the chicken. I would have chicken it up. Kentucky Fried Chicken, yeah. I was too busy playing sports, but you but weren't people, you weren't gifted in that arena. You, people in you were playing chess. Listen, chess is a real man sport. And so you don't were disrespect and me. you were definitely a master debater. That's crazy. But I mean, so do you think? <laughs> Did you even catch what I said? I don't care about that. <laughs> I was a master debater. I've debated ten times a day. Sometimes. <laughs> hey yo. You better watch out. You're gonna start. You're gonna start you popping go, smoke. Might go blind. <laughs> that explains why you need glasses. 
This is explains why it says glasses required when you drive. Nah, but honestly, you for real, that yank a little one too many times. Honestly, for real, like honestly, I feel like sc- everybody says school doesn't matter. They don't teach you what you need to know. So I mean, if some kids feel like they don't need to go to school, they want to get that chicken early. Let them get that bag. Let them do that. He can get a GED later. I mean, like it's just GED. Paper. They didn't even get their GED. I mean, nah, there was like thirteen, fourteen. Oh, no, that's right. This is probably why a lot of a lot of Hyundai's probably crash. This is probably made by fourteen. Them together. It's made by. <laughs> And they're like, we're not reading these directions. We're just gonna make it happen. Oh Lord, sorry. I need to do better. Speaking of doing worse, Unborn Child Act will allow women to claim child support from the child's father before the baby is even born. I forget what state this is. Put it in the comments below if you know more info about this topic. But what do you feel about getting put on child support before the baby is even there? Man. I mean, but what? See, this is why. But that's, I mean, I mean, that's crazy. I mean, you're already giving up that early. You had the baby isn't even here, and you already giving up. Yeah, no faith that you finna get go, Gavin. That's what it means. This is why you already gotta have a plan B like me. I'm finna move to Puerto Rico, change my name to Sammy Sosa. Oh, I thought you said you had like, mangoes on the side of the road. <laughs> I thought you said that you had a secret stash of Plan Bs. <laughs> I got that too. Hey man, if you need it, hit me up in the com- in comments and in, in, in the inbox. I got you. Plan A don't work. I got the Tims. Plan B. Banned. <laughs> Strike three. Get <laughs> out of here. Luckily, there's only like 15, 20 minutes I didn't left even in the show. Do anything. But no, nah, I mean, I'm really mad about this. Like, why your hands got to be in my pocket so early? Can I at least mess up first? Nope. Can you catch me cheating before we- you take all my money? Oh, they already caught you. I caught you on cheaters but many times. But um, I know you were telling me a story that should be my wallet, my choice. Exactly. Like, I mean, you trying to beat me into this. You think you <laughs> oh, not fall for this. You said nah, exactly. But for real, like, honestly, elaborate, like, elaborate. Nah, like, honestly, for real, like, I feel like this Roy versus Wade thing is fair. It makes it an even playing field, except for the part about the people, like, if you finna, like, pass what, what away because of the kid. The part about, like, it, if, I can't, if I can't make a choice about if I want it or not, you can't do it either. Except for the fact that like, if you got to pass away and all the other birth defects and all that stuff, I understand that. Like, that's different. But if you hit perfectly healthy, if I got to, if, if, exactly. So remember to cancel my co-host below <laughs> and then tell everyone how much you love me. But. After you slander him. This is not going to be a clip. Oh, we're clipping this. I'm clipping you to your downfall. Listen, man, I mean, I'm, I stand on what I say. My wallet, my choice. And you're going to stand on the verbal abuse you're about to get. <laughs> but let's see what else we got in the show. Oh, it looks like an abuse, Indian minister. Got his karma. Drink some dirty A water from a holy river polluted with sewage to prove the locals that safe ended up having to get airlifted to the hospital for stomach problems. And this is when keeping it real goes, goes wrong. wrong. He took a big old swig. He didn't even hesitate. You gotta do what you gotta do with confidence. Oh, I know how it is. See, that reminds me. already be like, that wasn't right. That reminds me of the time. Remember when I was like, I brought the fan out and it had AC blasting on. He's like, this don't look right. He's about to blow. And I just threw up everywhere. Oh, yeah. I remember whenever you went out. Mm-mm-mm. Look at like, that. Like, sad. I mean, this is what you get, Prime Minister. He's like, going bleh. This is what this is what happens. This should happen also in Flint. Like any yeah. places that have like disgusting water, they got to make the the head honchos drink it. Exactly. Are like, you saying it's fine? Go ahead and take a swig. Exactly. You know, take a bath in it. You know, this is crazy. Like, don't take a bath in it. You might rot your flesh. I mean, but I mean, at the same time, this is in India. We don't care about India. Gavin doesn't care about a pool. What I care about all the peoples of the world. Look at you and your hateful language. The only Indians you care about is on Dirty Sprite too. I I love up, <laughs> but um, no slander here. Just get better water and exactly. treat your people right. And then treat your people right. And don't wear Adidas because this checks over stripes. Oh, the disrespect! But speaking of disrespect, 
or actually baby respect. Put some respect on San Antonio, finally. Shout out to some local news. So to wrap up the news today, we got some local news. San Antonio is confirmed to XFL City. Eight teams were announced at a press conference in Arlington, Texas. While team names and mascots have not been announced, the team will be playing in the Alamo Dome the start of the 10-game 2023 season following the Super Bowl in February. Let's go, man. And also, I'm So, all- you know what? Screw the Cowboys. Well, I'm, not, I'm an Eagle fan. I don't even really care about the Cowboys. But also, so San Antonio's getting a team. I think Houston's getting a team. Yeah. And I think Killeen or Fort Worth's getting a team. Or yeah. Arlington, one of the... One of the... Another one of Texas those. City. It's like three Texas so cities are getting a Texas. team. It's a great win for Texas. They all, they always say that every time a new team is uh, being looked upon, San Antonio is like a great spot to keep because, you no, know, we got the Spurs. Yeah, and it's time to have some football back and uh, some pro, semi-pro football back in the city. Going to love that. And I've actually played football games in the Alamo Dome. So hey. I'll be going back to the arena that I used to put, the, put them down. I was going to say the whole saying, but. Put the D in the dirt. What's your favorite part? <laughs> no, but honestly, like, I'm glad that they're finally giving XFL another try. I remember, I think it's like the second or third time they're trying, like the first time. Oh, and I forgot to f- add Little McMahon retired. Hey, hey, respect Vince McMahon. He retired from WWE. He's probably going to put more focus on his XFL. He has The Rock on the side. And you know, we love The Rock. The ladies love The Rock. No comment. I know the ladies love the rock, but you got a little too excited there. You know, hey, we, Sierra oh, had no hey, way to make that thing jump. Oh. You about to get booted? <laughs> you got? That, I saw that face. <laughs> that was right. Speaking of right, it's Let's new it, music man. Monday, and shout out to us for having another Tuesday episode. <laughs> I thought it was dropping out today. You said. I, I mean, I could by the time we process it. You know, we could. It might. Be a midnight release. It might be an eleven p.m. release, or I might just save it for Tuesday. Nah, do it. You know, yeah, we maybe we'll see what it is. Put in the comments below. When we run behind, would you rather have a late night release of Tales from the Crib coming super late night on Monday, even as close as midnight, or you just want it to come out on Tuesday, seven thirty in the morning? Let us know. Put it in the comments below. But we got some new music. Exactly. Also, before we get to the new music, we need to tell y'all about Tales from the Crib playlist, TFTC Music Mix 3. It's creeping up there slow. We finna hit some, th- we're gonna hit a thousand. You see, I added three videos. I find, I'm adding my swag to it. I'm uh, actually, swag. Finesse two times was my pick. Yeah, I'm actually the bigger Vezo fan now. And Kodak Black, that was your pick. You were hated. You and we, that. oh, we did the reaction to this video. Check it out on Crib Reactions. Hey, man, check out the uh, Kodak Black Haitian Scarface. I got it right. The video's going up. People are loving it. It's awesome. Exactly. Speaking of awesome, this week, not that much good music dropped out. Not that much. I mean, not that many good albums dropped. We got dropped. a little Uzi had a... Like a little EP, EP. like six songs. I didn't care about Ain't no Joey Bad, bad drop. Joey Bad A. Make, nobody cares about Megan The Stallion. You love The Stallion. Nobody cares about The Stallion. Listen, yeah, she has to drop. If she's not shaking, but nobody gives you a You love Marcus the Megalosaurus. <laughs> Let's see, I told you it takes five people to make that one big. What? Uh, but Mac Miller's dropping a song from Beyond. Uh, Nardo Wick is dropping. Mozzie dropped. Your favorite, Rico Nasty. Lil Durk and Southside dropped the music video. I was, we were going to do a music. I wanted to do a, a video reacting to that, but Gavin doesn't care about that song. Nope. Uh, Nardo Wick had the uh, Deluxe Deluxe uh, Mac Miller See, and you tried to name an album too So is it album two or is it Deluxe? Like what is it? It's what? a Deluxe It's 12 new songs So it's not a full album uh, Vezo had a new album We'll get to that in a minute And a whole bunch of other songs Check it out All over the place Oh, well, before, oh no, 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 no We also gotta check out That Division song If I can't If I get caught for Smash Oh, yeah. Everybody got paid. We we reacting to that for sure. You like you saw the video? Yeah. You liked it? I watched it three times. Oh, I love it. I love when I put Gavin on. Well, I put you on. But speaking of my co hosts music pick on. of the week, we got, he got Asian Let's Dog. Do a Drill by Asian Dog. Exactly. You thought I did it despite Gavin? I did. 
Every time Asian Doll drops, I'm gonna put it on Gavin's face so Gavin remembers to put some respect on her name. She disrespected herself. She had respect, and then she lost respect. So it's up to her to gain it back. And you know the only way she could gain it back? Why? Is by coming on this show. Hey. And putting her on the mic to defend herself against all the slander. I mean, hey, you know, but I mean, besides that. Uh, would you like to have Asian Doll on the show? Of course, I would love to have Asian Doll on the show. I mean, her album was really good. You know, she got some. She got drill. Uh, the drills do band, but band drill from New Jersey. She had a couple of New York people on there. You know, her music never di- stop disappoints. I'm She's just, a chameleon. She's I'm, like Soldier Boy. I'm ready for her to get a Nicki Minaj feature and just start smashing people. She better. She's I don't know. Best I don't know when that feature's coming. She better. She better keep praying. Keep it. Cut your pearls. I don't know. She might have a viral song on TikTok because you know how it is. You get one big song on TikTok, and then everyone wants to do to a the feature. Moon. I mean, she got a couple songs on there. That, that song, I've had, heard like three different people remix that. It was like, y'all need to calm down. Well, her song on TikTok? Yeah, because that, that To The Moon song was a huge on TikTok. Mm-hmm. And then a whole bunch of people made like a Brooklyn Drill type beat out of it. True. R.I.P. King Von while we at it. We never, we never forget about King Von. Yeah, she doesn't either. <laughs> she lets it be known at all times. But uh, R.I.P. The Goat. But out of ten, out of a uh, scale out of one out of ten, I get this like an eight out of ten. It's a, it's it's decent. Y- y'all should listen to if it. If she has a fire video, we might react to it on Kirby Actions. She has a bunch of fire videos. We definitely react to Asian. You just want to watch her support. shake her thing. Shake that thing. Shake that thing. I don't know why you got the demon face, but that mm. was scary. I'm gonna need a divider. <laughs> I'm gonna need a divider next show right here. I need some plexiglass. Oh lord. I think he slobbered everywhere. Disgusting. Speaking of disgusting, I used to wear Vezo. It's my pick of the week. Because I pick respectable picks. Exactly. Well, pause. <laughs> exactly. Wait, no, you don't. I'm just kidding. Man, you can't just go with everything I say. I'm not going. This is how you get. I'm not trying to get canceled. But you love the Vezo. Exactly. I swear, Vezo dropped. Uh, what's his number? And ever six? since I put you on Detroit music, you've been living your night, your life in a different way. You lie Shout on out Detroit this, music. You lie on this camera one more time. You going through the camera? What? No, tell me how I put you on all the Detroit let's music. See, you, I put. I'm, let's see. I've been begging Gavin to get on Detroit music for the longest. He's like, no. They all rap the same. They like da 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 da. Now listen. Thank you for another clip. Whatever, Gavin. <laughs> Gavin, but ever since I, I put him, I swear, Vezo, a B A B the Pac Man. He reminds me of Mozzie, a little bit. I guess so, Gavin. I but he so. could rap. He killed it. We listened to this tape. He spits hot fire like Dylon. Ten out of ten. Two thumbs up. I give it two thumbs up to 10 out of 10. You know, I'm going to ride it when I'm, you know, driving around. When you're cruising. Pizza, you know, cruising, you know. But you know what? It when, looks like we can you got a dime piece in the passenger side uh, of your best friend's ride. Ooh, chilling in your best. Pause. But it looks like here it's coming down to Betty Bye Bye time. Time to put the baby to bed. Exactly. You already well, know I didn't say exactly. I opened a burp and I wanted to come out. You got to burp the baby. He's... Don't touch me. <laughs> but you know what I should touch? Y'all should touch that like button. Touch like, it hard. Hit that comment button. Comment hard. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe hard. And hit that notification bell. But dinga. All over your face. No. Hey, but you already know, Follow man. us on Twitter, at Papa Oblock, and this, da 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 at Felix Felix Supreme 305. Exactly. Because remember, Florida boys are the worst boys. They get in Capricorn fights with alligators, and they don't take showers. Capricorn stand up, and I take showers every day. No one likes to cap in Capricorn. Because that's all Capricorns do is cap. They wake up and cap. They go to sleep and cap. They're the capists of all time. So, well, I'm about to release a cap on you. You better stop playing. This ain't Sea World. I don't. Ha- I don't. I don't have the the curtain ready. <laughs> Just because you got a dolphin shirt on doesn't mean you can eat. Oh Lord, man! Shout out to Pink Dolphin, man! And shout out to Tales from the Crib podcast. Shout out to TOTC pod. 
a TFTC Reactions channel, Crib Reactions. TFTC Gaming. Ch- TFTC Clips. Man, just Check subscribe. out us on Twitch, Tales from the Crib. Exactly. Check us out on TikTok, Tales from the Crib. Become part of the family, you know. Do we, it all. We make things And happen. we put funny stuff on Instagram all the time. We put links to our videos. So if YouTube's not showing you that we got a new video, always check us out on Instagram because every time we got a new video, I post it in the links. I put it in the stories, and uh, people love it. So check us out on Tales from the Crib 2.0. There's the QR code. Kirby Actions is blowing up. We got to catch up. So if you watch this far, tell a friend, tell a friend to subscribe to this channel and make sure that they're not missing out at all. Please make sure they're not missing out. You already know, man. It's TFTC Podcast. We signing out. We about to go to Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring in some closing music. Bring that music back. Hey. Thanks for watching. See ya, TC boys. New video on the left. Playlist on the right. Subscribe in the middle. Let's get this Taco Bell. Hey. I'm not eating no Taco Bell. Hey. Might go to Chachos get a salad. Just a salad. I'm ending the video. No salads here. This is a salad free zone. We Kevin Gates over here. We just got canceled.